The single largest determinant of XCD is the closeness of substitute or complement. Um, that's because, you know, if you are a weak substitute or complement, it's the value is between 0 and 1, and if it's a strong one, it's above 1. But the sign always confuses people, so always work yourself through this logic um, puzzle. For example, between Coke and Pepsi, now you know that they are substitutes. So what should happen? Well, when the price of Coca-Cola decreases, the quantity demanded of Coca-Cola increases, and hence, less people consume Pepsi, so the demand for Pepsi decreases. Same direction here, substitutes. Again, for complements, what happens? Well, let's say for complements like uh, razors and shavers, well, when the price of shavers increase, the quantity demanded of shavers decrease, and same thing for the demand for shavers, uh, for razors will then decrease. Opposite directions, complement. So always walk yourself through this, don't just memorize it. So why is this value for XCD uh, important? Because firms need to know the XCD of their product when considering the effect on the demand for their product uh, of a change in, uh, and you know, effects of the change of a pr rival's product or a complementary product. These are vital information that CEOs would love to have.